Hello parents, it is Coach Megan here and I just wanted to give you all a quick makeup tutorial on how um, I recommend doing your athlete's competition makeup. Alright, so the stuff you will be needing is blush, it, um, preferably like a brighter colored blush, but any blush will do. Um, mascara is optional, powder if you feel like they maybe need just some light powder on their face. Makeup brush for your blush, makeup brush for your powder if you're using powder, and then maybe one or two eyeshadow brushes. And then you will also need some kind of palette. Just make sure it has your basic browns in it. Um, CoverGirl, NYX, e.l.f., all their kind of drugstore ones work fine. When I was little, my mom always just used her makeup on me. So really, honestly, no need to go buy any makeup. Probably just share your makeup with them. So first thing you're going to want to do is gonna start with the eyes. I'm just going to take a makeup brush, take a brown that is slightly darker than their skin, and you're just going to put that in their um, crease just a little bit. There we go, and then you are going to want to, you can use the same brush if you want. You're going to want to take either like a dark purple or a dark brown, um, any kind of those colors. Just lightly tap and put it right in the corner of their lid. And there is your eyeshadow look and that is all you will need for the eyeshadow if you want to go darker if you want to do more intense go for it but that's really all you need and then at competition I will be adding a gold shimmer to their lid and it's just that kind of color you can add mascara if you would like and there is the eye makeup look if you get any kind of eyeshadow like here or below or on top just wipe it off and then we have our blush. I'm gonna honestly just put kind of a lot of blush because on stage you don't want them to be washed out. And there we go. And then if you would like to put on a face powder just to make sure they don't get too oily, that is okay too. And that is it for your makeup. Feel free, of course, if you want to put foundation on, if you want to put any of that kind of stuff on, go for it. But um, if you just want to keep it simple, this is really all you need. Um, I'll be bringing my own makeup. So if you guys need help, I can help touch up. I can do makeup and other coaches can as well. Now on to hair. All right, and I am back now with hair. And what you will need for their hair look is just a curling iron or curling rollers and then you will need a brush of course at least four bobby pins and a couple hair ties possibly two or three and then of course some hairspray possibly some gel depending on if your athlete has more frizzy hair you're going to want to make sure that their hair is um pretty much has doesn't have a lot of frizz to it whether that's you having to straighten it or blow dry it um, making sure there's not a lot of frizz, making sure it's completely dry. And you're just going to start off with one of your ponytails and you are just going to plop it right on the top of their head. I always like to do a little two or three fingers and right where those three, three fingers end is where your bow should be. And I now have my ponytail up and once you have it up there again do a three finger test. Mine's not quite all the way up there. Shift it forward a little bit. Another three finger test and it's perfect. You are now going to want to go through with a brush or a comb um, and smooth throughout the entire head. Make sure there are no little bumps or frizzies. And this is also the time to get your hair spray. You're going to spray it all over it. Spray, spray, spray. I recommend also um, gel for the back of their head. A lot of little baby hairs fall out um, without gel. So I recommend gel. And you're going to want to go through again with a comb or a brush. 
And there we go. Make sure it's super tight, not loose at all. And there is one ponytail in. Um, now we are going to put the second one underneath this ponytail. So wrap it underneath. There we go. Go as many times as you possibly can. Super tight. And I mentioned this for the parade, but you may want to, I'm going to repeat it one more time. You may want to give your athlete some Advil or Tylenol stuff for a headache, especially if they're tender headed before you start on this ponytail, because you're going to want to make sure it is slicked back. Not to mention this earlier, but you will also need their competition bow. You will be receiving their competition bow this Tuesday at practice. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the tails right here. You're going to bend them back, place them on top of the head, take your hair tie, wrap it, make sure it goes underneath the other hair ties. Make sure it's super, super tight. And there we go. Make sure their bow is plopped up on their head. It's very, it's a really big bow and for their little heads. If it's not tight enough, um, it's going to flop around and fall out. And that's the last thing we need. You're then going to take your bobby pins and place them crisscross over the bow. That is what it looks like. And I always recommend using the rigid side down on their scalp. So you are then going to either want to take your curling iron or if you're doing rollers, this process needs to be done either like 12 hours in advance or overnight. Um... The curling iron does good, but I know with baby hair, sometimes their hair is too thin and um, it gets a little nerve-wracking using, using heat on their hair. So I always like to do a little spray and try to just get it a little bit rough and a little bit tacky so the curls can stay a little bit longer. And then you are just going to take the curling iron, little pieces, not too thick, hold it there for just a minute. And let it go it's very very tight curls because they will fall after every single curl you're gonna get a good spray don't touch it let it cool and you're gonna go back in throughout the entire head um, once again make sure you're using pretty small sections and make sure your curling iron is um, pretty thin it doesn't have to be like this little thing that goes from big to small it doesn't have to do that but make sure it's no bigger than a one inch Honestly, I wouldn't recommend more than like a three-fourths inch of a curling iron. And I will see you guys once I am done curling and spraying my hair. Here is the finished look. It kind of looks crazy right now because um, it hasn't fallen again within the first one to two hours that they have their hair in. It will probably fall because they're going to get excited. They're going to want to tumble. They're going to want to jump. They're going to want to hang out with their friends. So make sure it's super tight. And then once you're done, again, after every single curl, you should be spraying. At, once you're done, you should spray the entire thing. Lift up the ponytail gently. Spray underneath everywhere. And tell them to give it a good little shake. Make sure that nothing is moving too crazy. Make sure the bow isn't moving too crazy. And make sure the curls aren't super bouncy. Um, mine are really bouncy because I haven't been spraying it. Because I'm not competing right now. But um, they shouldn't, honestly, they shouldn't move. Like, it should be almost like a shell. Once again, if you want to put on a foundation, if you want to fill in their eyebrows, anything like that, feel free to. Um, it is not necessary at all. Um... I only ask for makeup because it, it helps them pop on stage. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you need help with doing their hair or makeup, please feel free to tell me. Please feel free to ask me. I have no problem helping. I'll get to the competition early and we can get it done. I will see you guys at practice.